Man, it's a great day. We got uh, Larry Stewart, Russell's Heart, Richie McDonald from uh, Lone Star, uh, Tim Rushlow, a Little Texas. It's the front men is who it is. <gasps> Hello, boys. Woo! Hey, fellas. Good morning. Hey, what's up? It's like a it's like a super group. It's like everything you like. Um, it's like peanut butter, jelly, and bananas. <laughs> there you go. You know, actually, Pam. I love all it's of all those three. Things. Yeah, I, those are all good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Knock we, it out. We, we've got to use that somewhere. It worked for Elvis, right, too? <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> we have a peanut butter banana sandwich, man. So, <laughs> for those who don't know, how did this all happen? Like, what, what you guys sitting around? Is it start with a text? Is it like, is, is there drinking involved? <laughs> well, there was a bar was. involved. Yeah. But yeah. We were drinking, actually, Larry and I were drinking coffee, okay. like we are this morning. Yeah. Well, it was a coffee bar. <laughs> it was a coffee. Well, we were down Louisiana. Down Louisiana? <laughs> And um, In the broad this was, daylight. Yeah, this was uh, after I left Lone Star the first time, and Larry and I were doing a, a fundraiser down there, and I said, hey, I have this idea to do a, a thing called The Front Men, where you take three lead singers from three different bands, and uh, one thing led to another. Uh, Randy Owen did a couple of shows, but then... McCartney was busy. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and then we, we, got, we got Mr. Tim Rushlow uh, to be the missing Ooh. link, and so uh, we've been at this for, what, probably close to... On and off for 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. great idea. It's quiet. No one really knew. You know, after I kind of got in with them, it turned into, I, I was literally going to play some shows for Navy Entertainment USO just acoustically. And I called them and said, hey, I got Richie and Larry. Why don't we come to there? Like, yeah, bring it. Let's do it. So that turned into a yearly thing for years where we went over and quietly did this annual kind of, you know, let's just go salute the troops and play for oh, everybody. Nice. And we yeah. didn't take a camera crew. We didn't take a big yeah, yeah. entourage. It was just us. Mm-hmm. And But we knew when we sang, okay, something special to this. Well, and, I mean, that's the thing is anytime a band changes a lead singer, it's not the same band anymore. I like all the iterations of Van Halen. Yes. But I, uh, you know, you can go back to David Lee Roth or the uh, Sammy Hagar uh, era. They're two different bands. They're not the same band at all. So when you take that front man away, Journey, whomever you go through, uh, right. Sticks, it's not the same thing. You guys are the voice of the band. That's the stuff that we remember. Wow, you're hired. Can we, we take him with us? Well, I mean, it's please a, do. Nobody remembers <laughs> the guitar. Who played bass for uh, Metallica? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I get it. Well, it is interesting. I think that you know, and I say we say this in the show every time we play a show. When we do Blue Eyes in Texas, we sing the harmony with Larry, and every night, Rich and I go, man. We grew up listening to Larry Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> and he yeah. goes, shut up. But, but the truth is, there would be no Lone Star, no Little Texas without Larry Stewart and Russell's heart. So there's this weird kind of like common thread that runs through the vein of all the bands that we fronted. And then to get to do it now together and sing and on I each other's low harmony on Amazed. So. You're darn right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. dude, I mean, Song of the Decade. We get to sing that with him every yeah. night. And yeah. so there's this, mm-hmm. this whole new kind of thing that exists, this new... As people say, we're the soundtrack of their life. But there's this new playlist of our three hits, you know, our, our well, hits, like lots of them. And so it's really wild. Yeah, it's, 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 it is And wild. then add the new music to it, which is the whole new component, which is partly why we're here to discuss yeah. all that. Because that, that's what happened was we finally got in the situation where people were like, hey, we know what you sound like singing all these hits, and it's great, but what does this sound like like as the front man? Yeah. yeah. And then we're like, well, that's a good question. So we started writing and recording and Brought in a great producer, and and then of course it turned out that you know John Loeb at BMG was like, "Hey, this is great. Let's do this." And I think we're still kind of shocked. You know, <laughs> yeah. I think it's awesome. Again, we're big fans, and you know, you said your three hits. I want to make sure people understand it's three sets of, of hits. hits. Yeah, it's not it's not one, three two, songs. Three. It's, it's three, three yeah. catalogs. <laughs> That's right. Jam packed. Uh, well, I need you is uh, the the new track from the uh, from the uh, EP. I want to say albums nowadays. This whole EP thing throws me. Mm-hmm, uh, yeah. The Familiar Faces EP. Uh, the song is called "I Need You." Uh, the front man with us. Here you go. Enjoy it. We'll come back more with uh, Larry Richard and. Uh, Richard, Richie, and Tim. That's next. Hang on, Richard. <laughs> He's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Vance. Richard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the front man joining us in the studio: Larry Stewart, Richie McDonald, Tim Rushlow. Yes, three powerhouses all on one uh, group, and it's pretty cool, man. You know, you hear the. Uh, I know you guys. You like the new music? Yeah, I do too. But I also love all this God bless Texas, Amaze. Like you said, it was a song of the decade. Mm-hmm. And you guys are up here doing it every night. I'll still be loving you. Loving someone could be 
This is from the uh, EP. Yeah. No, see, that was a question. I wasn't sure. Oh. This is him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You, you guys are great at this. You're really good. You think? Sorry, it's the gummies that yeah. just kicked in. I apologize. Well, that's one of the re-records. So our EP consists of three re-records and uh, three brand new songs. Okay. So uh, Let me turn this up. Hold I on. Need You is one of the brand new songs. The one you're listening to right now was uh, originally recorded in 1942 <laughs> by Restless Park. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you look great. Wow. What's great Thank is you. even yeah. the re-records, yeah. though, and I, and I know you guys are here to talk about new music, but I just want to say, y'all sound great as a band, you, do. you know, doing even the re-records. I can't wait to listen to the entire hey, thing. Hey, is it hard, like, when you have three... Leads trying to not out lead each other. Yeah, I kind of keep it down a little bit. You kind of pull it back just yeah, a touch. I don't want to. Yeah, you know yeah. what? It, it's a great question, and I the answer I think is no. No, it, it's it's really well, like when we're listening to songs. We all brought a pile of songs and we wrote, and there were things we got pitched. You listen to a song and nobody has to say a word. We know, okay, that's definitely a Larry song. Oh, well, that's a Richie song, or you just know. And then mm-hmm. and then there's the fun part is. Because we actually dig each other's voices, we get to sing harmony on that. So, you, you know, it's like, it's just crazy how, how that works. But the dynamic is, and there are some songs that are on the full-blown album that's coming where we actually share verses, where we're all three singing on it, which oh, I don't okay. think since the Beatles and the Eagles, that's been done. Uh-huh. You know, where three lead singers are really singing lead on the same song. So we're doing that, too, which is really cool. You know, that we came cool. from three bands, too, that um, wasn't like they're the Eagles, where... The Eagles share songs with three or four different lead singers, right? That's the, how they, yeah, they right. did their thing. I mean, we came from bands where we were the lead singer. We were screaming our face off for an hour and a half every night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now we're kind of like the Eagles, so to speak, where mm-hmm. we share songs, sing harmonies with each other. You know, Richie sings a song and Tim sings. And, and it's, it's a lot of fun and, and, I mean, we can sing all night. It's fun. So on this EP, it's got three... Th- three new, three old. Basically. Three new songs, three old songs. Uh, Amaze is one of them. God Bless Texas is one of them. I'll still be loving you, Restless Heart. But, uh, yeah, and then the new ones, Richie wrote one, um, that uh, an experience of his uh, at a red light many years ago with a funeral going by, but it'll bring a tear to your eye. Yeah, mm-hmm. get Richie, a, get a I mean, yeah, get really. a Yeah. Tim get wrote a one about someone he knew 30 years ago, um, reconnected, and... Uh, they got married like a year and a half ago, and it's really a cool song, too. This song here, I Need You, the three of us didn't write, but but it's it's perfect. I mean, Lindsey Rhymes and Matt Rogers wrote it, and um, it's a perfect frontman song with, you know, it's kind of got the 90s lyric, but, but with today's kind of lyrical lope. And music is full mm-hmm. again with our harmonies. It's the perfect song for us. So nice. we're really excited about all the music, the new and old, that – that uh, is coming out now. Uh, it's so good to see you guys, man. Uh, the front men, it's uh, available now. Familiar Faces is an EP. The new song is called I Need You. And make sure you get that, man. It's uh, it's great. If you like this. Go familiarize yourself with Familiar Faces. Um, there you go. Your streaming platform. Thank you, Larry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the front men, everyone. Larry Stewart, Richie McDonald, Tim Rushlow. Good to see you, boys. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you. Again, uh, uh, check it out. The front men and the EP again. What is it? Familiar faces. faces. There you go. (laughs) Well, because over the years, uh, teenage kids have told you to like and subscribe, we don't have to say that anymore. You know what to do.